long-time viewers of my channel may have noticed that in every single video that I make for the last two or three years, in the background, right behind me is a picture. And in every single video, that picture is different. Now, before I continue, allow me to give you a little quick behind the scenes secret about that picture. For the first year or so, all that was behind me was a picture, a regular picture with a frame. And in every video, I had to digitally add a photograph using sophisticated CGI techniques, which meant that if I were to ever accidentally put my hand up in the picture frame area accidentally, I would have to digitally rotoscope my hand out of every frame, adding hours of extra time to every video that I made. It was not until after I became a YouTube superstar that I was able to actually afford to buy a real screen to put up there. So now I can put my hand up in front of the screen accidentally whenever I want, and I can very easily flip through all of my photos so I can select whatever picture I want to show very easily. In most of my early videos, the pictures were just things that were funny or scenes from classic movies or television shows. But very slowly over time, the images that I chose to display became more topical. Some might even say controversial. And of course, because some of the images that I show behind me may be controversial in nature, some people felt uncontrollably compelled to leave comments either criticizing me or supporting me for whatever image was displayed behind me. Even though that in the last two years, never once, not one single time did I ever point to or mention or talk about whatever it was that was behind me. So of course, not only did these Dunning-Kruger certified geniuses read my mind to determine what my motivation was for putting up any particular image, they also then proceeded to proclaim to the entire world, or at least everybody reading the comments in any particular video, why I am a horrible person and how everything that they decided I believe in is wrong. And then of course they proceed to enlighten us on how only what it is that they think is what the rest of us should be permitted to think. And almost without fail, they do this in a long profanity laced rambling comment rife with spelling and grammatical errors that looks like it was written by a retarded nine-year-old. And in those comments, they have called me everything from a Biden lover to a Biden hater, to a Trump lover, to a sheeple, to an anti-vaxxer, a conspiracy theorist, a homophobe, and a homosexual. Now, as we all know, I am, of course, a YouTube superstar, and most of us understand that some people are only leaving these comments to get my attention or the attention of others, apparently to make up for their mother not hugging them enough as a child. So they are either desperately hoping that I will pin their comment to the top of all the other comments for everyone to see, thereby giving them the attention that they crave, or they're just doing it to try to get my comeback. However, what they do not understand is that to get my comeback, they're gonna have to wipe it off of their mother's face. So just in case you're not following along so far, what I am saying is that by displaying a simple image behind me, I am encouraging what us YouTube experts call audience, engagement. And I simply leave it up to the viewer to interpret what the image means or why it's there in their own imagination. And the best part of that is that even though it has absolutely nothing to do with the video, the stupid ones will leave comments either praising or criticizing whatever it is behind me. And it is this audience engagement that tells the YouTube robots that people must be enjoying my videos because even a robot knows that if somebody doesn't like a video they would just go away and watch something else and this engagement from my viewers results in the youtube robots showing my video to more potential viewers thereby increasing the superstardom for me so by harnessing 
the power of these idiots. I have grown more powerful than they could have possibly ever imagined. And of course, now many people may be thinking, well, you've let that cat out of the sack. You can't do that anymore. But my friend, allow me to remind you of what P.T. Barnum's great-grandchild once said. He said, a thousand new morons sign up on YouTube every minute. So the answer to the question of why is that picture behind you is, let me tell you about my t-shirt. <laughs>